Chris here with Review Commander. Today we're going to be reviewing the Comfort Research Foof. Basically it is a giant beanbag chair that is made out of foam instead of tiny styrofoam beads. So hopefully it holds up a little bit better in the long term than the standard beanbag. Now, is it just as comfortable? I'd say yes. One common complaint that I hear with these is that the seams are not very well built. And if you look at one, I could understand why someone would think that. They do seem like there's a little bit of a gap. However, it's a very thick threading and pulling on it, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Now as for what kind of foam is in, inside of one of these, I have yet to open it. So we're gonna try to do that right now. Where, uh, not this side. Let's see, here we go. Apparently it is a special, let's see, they said to insert, they said a paper clip, but I don't believe it or not have one. That's good, I should be able to just do it. Nope, can't do it by hand. I'm gonna set down the camera for one second. So let's see what's inside. <laughs> Another zipper is what is inside, apparently. So we're gonna go all the way to this side. Yep. Guess they really don't want you inside this thing. So the parents out there, good news. I, an adult, could barely get this open, so I don't think you have to worry about your kids getting this thing opened. In fact, I'm still having some trouble opening it. It's two layers of special zippers. Let's see what's in there. Oh, wow. Okay. So, it looks like it's mostly uh, foam, for, um, and for some reason some plastic, which I'll take out. I guess that's what was crinkling. This looks like what happened is they partnered with um, manufacturers of furniture, and this is probably the excess cut strips. It all looks like new foam but uh, just discarded random chunks, different sizes. Doesn't look like any real consistency in what type of foam or color. So my guess would be this is like uh, whatever was left over, like if they had a four foot piece of foam and they cut three and a half feet of it for a couch. Um, I don't wanna to dig too far into this. I do see the little pieces of plastic that I was reading about and that I was hearing every now and then when I'm laying on it but it doesn't look used like some people claim that it's used foam this is all brand new that's it, like that is pure white as white can be there's no sign that this is like from um, old mattresses and things like that that some people were claiming I believe this is factory new foam um, I'm gonna stop the video here so I can try and close this up without making too much of a mess Again, the good news is very difficult to open. You don't have to worry about your kids getting into one of these things. Okay, we're all sealed back up. And I believe this is going to conclude the review of the Comfort Research Giant Foof, or Fuff. Um, really unclear on how to actually pronounce it. I'm using mine in my game room. Uh, I'm sure if you've watched any of our other review videos, my camera won't focus. You've seen me reviewing some of the N64 controllers and uh, the Raspberry Pi. Um, this thing is perfect for a room like this. Uh, a little large, it does take up a good portion of the room. I was originally thinking about having this in here plus a futon, but uh, I severely underestimated the size of this thing. Um, easily seats two people, no problem. Um, very comfortable. You just got to wait a couple of days for it to expand. In fact, I think mine is still expanding a little bit. Every day I notice it's getting a little bit more firm. And the company recommends that if you want to, um, they call it refoofing. Um, let me see. Here we go. This is basically what they sent with it. 
they're not joking when they show it being that small. That's how it comes. It is tiny. Pick it up, flip it around, drop it up a couple times, and it slowly gets a little bit bigger. And obviously they're showing a picture of the small one. But uh, they want you to pretty much do this step every couple of weeks to help it keep its shape the best. And like they said, seven to day, 10 days for it to return to its original size. It's packaged under high compression. This thing came in a box wrapped in uh, several pieces of strapping that you had to cut. And as soon as you did, the box almost burst. Pretty much what I just said. And it's talking about the zipper and how to get into it. Again, a kid is not going to figure it out. And uh, if they really want into it, they can just, you know, go to your kitchen and grab a knife. Because I don't know any kid with the patience to deal with what I just dealt with. Again, this is Chris with Review Commander. Thank you for watching the video. Chris here with Review Commander. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Comfort Research Foof. Basically, it is a giant beanbag chair that is made out of foam instead of tiny styrofoam beads. So hopefully it holds up a little bit better in the long term than a standard beanbag. Now, is it just as comfortable? I'd say yes. One common complaint that I hear with these is that the seams are not very well built. And if you look at one, I could understand why someone would think that they do seem